All right, guys, today I have something very special to show you. My brother-in-law, Steve, has lent me this guitar so I can check it out, and this is really something different. This is a mid-90s Ibanez USA Custom US RG30 in transparent coral. It's a very rare guitar, and these were only made from 1994 to 1996. These were made in the USA in Pennsylvania, actually, by a guy named Dave Bunker, who unfortunately just died recently. He was also the guy that made the touch guitars, which is probably at least partially responsible for the whole gent movement. Anyway, this is a standard Ibanez RG in some ways, but then very different in others. So the body is alder with a maple top, of course. It has a maple neck, which we'll talk more about in a minute, and then an old school low pro edge bridge. For pickups, it has a DiMarzio tone zone in the bridge position and then a PAF Pro in the neck. Now let's take a closer look at the neck because there's some crazy stuff going on here. So this is called the Dave Bunker Tension Free Neck. And it's not talking about tension in your hands, but tension on the neck itself and specifically the wood of the neck. The design essentially allows the bow or relief of the neck to be set without squeezing the neck from end to end like a regular truss rod, but instead changing the bow of the neck from within. Here's a video clip from the late, great Dave Bunker himself talking about the neck on these Ibanez models. And I'll have a link to this full video in the video description below. In the 90s, I was actually uh, con had a company in Pennsylvania and built custom-made guitars for Ibanez, a Japanese guitar company. In fact, the third, probably the third or second most popular guitar in the world right now. They wanted the tension-free neck after great intensive studies. In fact, they took the necks in Ben Salem Pay A. The Hoshino brothers actually tried to break the neck. They actually took the wrench and turned it so far that I was just waiting for the fingerboard to pop off of these guitars. And then they turned it the other way. They actually turned it so hard they bent the pin in, in the neck. But they still did not damage that adjustment mechanism. So the tension-free neck during that time was put through quite a trial and error. Also, after it went together, they sent it out to different artists to have it tested, and it was very proof positive that it was a, that they liked the feel and sound and playability of the tension-free neck. Now, in addition to all that, this has a very different feeling neck profile than what you would expect to find on an Ibanez RG. Rather than a D-shaped profile that's real flat on the back, this has a very, very thin C shape. So there's very little shoulder on the corners of the neck. It just has this very shallow, but still rounded feel to it. And with that profile and the satin finish, it's extremely comfortable. Also, as you can see, it's got 24 frets on a rosewood fretboard. And these are very tall frets, but they're a little on the skinny side. So it's not the same as what you would expect to find with modern extra jumbo frets. Okay guys, now there's more to talk about with this neck but I just want to get into the demo so you guys can really hear how this thing sounds. And we'll talk a little bit more about it afterwards. Now, as always, real quick, guys, if you enjoy videos like this, checking out cool guitars and staying up on everything that's going on in the guitar universe and you have not already subscribed, please consider subscribing right now. Okay, this thing is going to be a lot of fun to play. It feels really awesome. So let's go ahead and plug it in and listen to how it sounds. <laughs>
Okay guys, so let me tell you a little bit more about the neck and then we'll talk about the playability of this guitar. So the two other interesting things about this neck is the way you adjust the neck. Now there's no truss rod adjustment up here or down here, but there is a little tiny hole on the side of the neck. I'll give you a close up of it here and that is actually where you adjust the neck relief. Now the other adjustment it has is back here on the neck joint and there's a little hole there and that actually lets you adjust the neck angle. And that's a really nice feature. Some other high-end guitars do have that adjustment, but it's definitely not something that's very common. Okay, so the playability on this guitar is excellent as you would expect, okay? This nice high-end Made in the USA Ibanez guitar, of course it's gonna be good, right? One thing in particular that I really like about it is how consistent the action is across the fretboard. So the the height of the strings, you know, the action down here by the nut is almost exactly the same as it is up here at the 24th fret. Obviously, the DiMarzio pickups sound good as you would expect, and the controls are straightforward and work exactly as you would expect them to. Now, I gotta say, this thing plays great, and I wish there were more of these guitars around. Obviously, this guitar is, at this point, more than 25 years old, and it's been kept in very good condition. But as rare as these guitars are, they are still pretty expensive. These still fetch several thousand dollars on the used market. Okay guys, but let me know what you think of this guitar in the comments section below. It's rare, it's beautiful, sounds great, plays great. Really, really cool guitar. And I wanna give, again, a big shout out to my brother-in-law, Steve, for letting me borrow this guitar for the video. And I'm curious, how many of you guys knew about these Dave Bunker made Ibanez USA custom guitars? Because this was news to me. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you soon.